Okay, good morning guys. Good morning. Last day on K-Line. So we're just heading off to see if we can find somewhere to have coffee, hopefully on the water, probably not. If anything's open. <laughs> yeah, word of warning in Kailan, they seem to be uh, late risers, yeah. late openers. So, I mean, we just went into a place and they say they open at 10. So for coffee and for breakfast, which we're just not used to that. We like to be <laughs> up early. So yeah, we'll see if we can suss a place out, but yeah, yeah we'll just, Stick about on the island and then probably catch a ferry back to the mainland about midday. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> We've managed to find the fat submarine, which is legit on the water. This is so where I'm nice. sitting. So we could fall in at any time. And they <laughs> opened at 9 a.m. So these guys are- They're on it. <laughs> they're on it, they're open. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll sit here, have a coffee, chill out before we need to check out. The restaurant's so nice too. Like it's just like, just really beautiful inside. Yeah, it's got a great outside area, really utilizing the, um, the location. So, yeah, it's good. Shame there's a bit of fog today, but uh, I guess that's something we've got to get used to. It's hard to see, but there's, uh, I think they're a monitor lizard. A little one comes out, gets some sun, and he lives in a hole. Just in the corner. And there he is. Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Just checked out, just through the keys. Well, <laughs> handed them nicely. We'll head down to the Navan Pier and grab ourselves a ferry. We'll see how this ferry ride goes back. We're thinking about speedboat, but they're a lot more expensive and um, they could get us a bit more wet. So we're all for having fun, but we've got uh, laptops and stuff, so I won't do it. Mm. Pretty lucky, we just walked up here and there's one just about ready to go. So we're on the bottom floor this time, so we'll see how wet we get. <laughs> but yeah, should be, should should be, be good, good fun. Mm. Still on the boat, but we're gonna get off on the mainland. We're in the grab first fortune we've gotten. Traveling mm -hmm. in luxury. Yeah. yeah.
So we're back from Kolan, back in the flat. We saw we share our thoughts on um, how Kolan was. Yeah. The ups and downs and yeah, just what we thought, if it's a worthy destination for people visiting Thailand or Pattaya. The beaches on Kolan are a lot cleaner. They're a lot, a lot nicer. Just the water's more clear, less rubbish, just generally nicer beaches. The only downfall of the beaches though is that they're pretty much completely taken over by beach chairs. Um, so it's pretty much impossible to just take a towel down there and sit on the sand. There's, I think, five beaches and yeah, some of them are really small. So mm. if you're uh, just one of those people who just sits down, uh, throws a towel in the sand, then it could be a bit of an issue. So the people on Koh Lan, um, there's some really lovely people, like exceptionally lovely people. Mm. Um, but there are also some people who uh, just seemed off it. Just yeah, uh, was either like not having a good day or it seemed like it could be more of a, a Thai local spot to, to go vacation. Mm. Pretty evident by a lot of the businesses, shops, restaurants, places or hotels. Mm. They just had their names written in Thai. Mm -hmm. And usually if you're in Pattaya, you're going to see the name of a business in English and then they'll have it written in Thai in small, small font somewhere on the sign. So. Yeah, it, it was, um, there were some people there that weren't as, as nice as what we're used to, but yeah. uh, at the same time, you know, we're in Thailand and we're trying to speak in English, so mm. I, I can understand uh, the frustration and just kind of not wanting to deal with that. But yeah, just a, just a thought from us that the people there were, were lovely, but there were also some people who um, weren't too thrilled to, yeah. to see you. So English isn't as prominent as well. People were talking to us, like a lot of times people were just straight talking to us in Thai. <laughs> we definitely recommend getting a scooter. The island, it's pretty small um, and you can basically see the whole, whole island in a day if you rent a scooter. If you look on Google Maps, it says everything's sort of in walking distance and there's no hills, mostly flat. It said mostly flat, but yeah. it failed to take into account that the huge <laughs> mountain that you had to scale from Toan Beach to Naban Pier. There are the same things as bar buses, uh, mm. I forget what they're called in Thai, but they run from all different parts of the island to drop off people at all different beaches. Yep. So if you don't hire a scooter, you can walk around and you can also catch these uh, bar buses. One thing that's really cool on Koh Laan is they have a really good coffee culture. Really awesome little chill coffee shops there that just, they make really decent coffee and a lot of them have great a great view, um, good seating so you can sort of watch the street or you can watch the ocean. All the coffee that I had there was really good, like it was pretty much up to Australian standard if not better. There's a lot more western uh, mm. style coffee. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a few Aussie expats that have invested in uh, coffee shop yeah. businesses there because it, it felt kind of like that. Yeah. So the roads are narrow sketchy as well walking around there's not really sidewalks you're walking on um grills like mm. where the drain is and they can be a bit boom, boom, boom. yeah they're sketchy they can flip up on you so yeah you just gotta keep your keep your wits about you because mm. there's some there's mostly scooters going along but there are tractors and uh those bart buses so yeah you really have to be careful um mm. because if you're if you just step out at the wrong time you could easily be collected because there's <laughs> yeah. not a lot of room there's not all... a lot of room to um, yeah. to get around or to get off to the side. Yeah, a lot of like blind corners as well. Mm. To me, Koh Lan, there's more sort of Thai culture there. When you compare it to say like Pattaya or Jom Tien, it's just more prominent. Like there's more Thai restaurants, there's basically no Western food there, which was cool to see. Everybody pretty much just speaks Thai. There was one lady that wanted to practice her English on us um, and that was pretty funny but we were pretty open to it so that was cool. Yeah, I think at 8am they run the national anthem, mm. the Thai national anthem, yeah. uh, which is which is cool to see. There's a lot of dogs on the island, they seem friendly but I went up to one, there was an old lady and we'd seen a dog and it looked great. I was like, oh, friendly can I pat? And she was like, Meh. And then I went to pet it and then across the road the young fella was like, no, 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 she bite, she bite. I don't know if I got trolled by the grandma, if I did, good job. There's a lot of dogs and it looks like they have owners. I guess they're being um, protective, territorial, but yeah, just be careful. There are cats though hanging around, they're all friendly. If a cat bites here then who cares, it's a cat. Yep. 
So getting across to Kolan, I'll try and sell you speedboat, get there quickly, go now. You don't need to get a speedboat. So we got on the ferry, cost us 30 baht, took like 40 minutes, half an hour to get there. The ferry was awesome. It felt pretty safe. They look a bit dodgy, but they do feel quite safe. Yeah, it's 30 baht compared to about 150 baht for a speedboat. If you've got any issues of getting wet, sit on top. There was no, no waves up at the top getting people wet. We sat at the bottom on the way back and mm. there were some waves splashing across, but nowhere near as bad as Bali. Yep. So yeah, it's um, if you want to grab a speedboat, I mean, it's not that expensive in the grand scheme of things. And the ferry is yeah. all you need and they run uh, pretty much every hour. And yep to two different locations as well, two yeah. different piers. So if you're staying on the west or the east side, you've got a ride there and mm -hmm. yeah, it, it worked nice and smooth. And I was, yep. as I said, when we got on, I was surprised that we were leaving on time. Yeah, so Koh Laan, final thoughts for me. I thought it was a great island. Before I'd go back there, I'd definitely want to check out um, different islands in Thailand. Mm -hmm. I think there's probably better ones, but it was, it was quite beautiful. There's huge, huge, huge open spaces of just uh, green and the hills haven't mm. been built up on and all that kind of thing. So it's it's nice, a bit more natural. What do you think? Um, I probably wouldn't go back there in a heartbeat. I really enjoyed the contrast of like, there's a mountain and then right next to the mountain, there's a beach. A lot of the architecture too there is like, there's a bunch of really new, nice looking places. And then you've got like the old sort of more traditional Thai style things. Um, a bunch of temples too, which surprised me. I didn't expect to see like four or five different temples in Kolan and they're all like really beautiful. Mm. I did really enjoy it. I really enjoyed the room. Um, we had a nice space outside to just chill, yep. which was good. We also had a day off filming, which was really nice. Just got to chill out and check out some of the beaches and stuff. All in all, it was awesome, but I think there's probably better islands in Thailand. Happy we did it, but yep. uh, didn't blow us out of the water. That's what we thought. Yep. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Got a bit of info out of it. Yeah. Let yeah. us know if you'd go there. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, don't Bye. forget to like and subscribe as well. Yeah, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.